wave of riots has swept U.S. prisons. Within 20 months, riots have occurred in 35 states. It began in Trenton, New Jersey, moved quickly to Jackson, Michigan. Here at Michigan Penitentiary for five days, the world's largest walled prison is torn to pieces by maddened convicts who destroy everything they can put their hands on. Damage is estimated at two and a half million dollars. Then in Pennsylvania, inmates seize five guards as hostages in Western State Penitentiary. Damage runs high, as we can see in this view inside one of the wrecked cell blocks. At almost the same time, 231 convicts carry out a similar rebellion in Rawway, New Jersey at the state prison farm. Here, bed sheets, scrawled with slogans, are hung from broken windows. The convicts hold out for four and a half days before submitting to authority. In Menard Prison at Chester, Illinois, state police are called. Ten guards are held as hostages, three of them by prisoners in the psychiatric division. Here, the inmates insist on speaking only to the governor about their grievances. These riots, costing millions and millions of taxpayer dollars, have aroused great public interest. Mr. McGee, what, in your opinion, is the reason these riots occur? I would like to paraphrase the report of the American Prison Association on riots and their causes. The recent widespread occurrence of prison riots is almost always the direct result of the short-sighted neglect of our penal institutions, amounting to almost criminal negligence. Who is responsible for this negligence? Public leaders, uh, such as governors, legislators, and others, who must share the responsibility for prisons, as well as for other branches of government. And that neglect includes the public? Yes, indeed. In the final analysis, especially the public. One final question. Do you look to further riots in the future? I abhor riot and disorder, but until something is done to correct the situation, we will not see the end of prison troubles. Thank you, Mr. McGee. All over America, prison officials wonder, where will the next riot occur? You ever been in the punishment block? No. Nope. Keep your nose clean or we'll leave you in there. Sorry for these guys, though. You'll get over it. Okay, with the crosses. What's so different about these guys? X marks the wild animal. Thanks. 
I got to find out about my kid. Put it in writing to the warden. <laughs> Colonel. Colonel. Yeah, Frank. You're up for parole consideration, aren't you? That's right. Do me a favor. When you get out on the street, find out for me if my little girl's still sick. Well, I'm not out yet. I, I gotta find out. I ain't heard in almost two months. Your wife will write you. Ah, uh, she, she won't write. That's the reason I'm in here. I thought I told you to take that bush off. Yes. Sixty-three. Gotcha. There, it's making. Mark eleven, two thirty-eight. Hold it a minute. Go ahead. Mark eleven, two thirty-eight. Eleven, two thirty-eight. Okay, you're in. Barrett, go ahead. Block four, 637. Four blocks, 637. Okay, you're in. Go ahead, five. Block five, to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, and thou rememberest no more. They are cut out from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Let me up, will you? Knock it off! Somebody slug that creep. Mother. Mother. Monroe! Charlie, they're moving me to a new cell block tomorrow, and I got a present for Gator. Would you give it to him now? Yeah, sure.
Don't you make it. I got Monroe. Good. Now for the others. There's only four screws tonight. We gotta grab them all. The snood is mine. No cutting, Darnie. We're gonna keep them alive. That's my plan. a week. Captain Barrett, I've got your open line to the governor's office. Yes, sir, I'll monitor all calls from 11. Here's the army, sir. Armory, how many men have checked in? Second watch is coming in now. Well, good, speed them along. Now, here's the way I want them dispersed. Two in one block, five in three blocks. Two unarmed in four blocks. Those to be armed, 
get rifles and tear gas. And tell them not to get itchy fingers. All right, boys, come on, hurry up. Watch those itchy fingers. Captain's orders. I'll wait for the warden. Right. I'll meet you in the yard. him to that block. It was my suggestion. That was a mistake. Figured him pretty green. That block takes six guards. It's tough enough to dig up four. You know how short we are. All right, Dunn, I'm here. I want your word, Warden, that I'll have safe conduct. I promise you no harm will come to you during this conversation. Guards, these are my instructions. Dunn is to be allowed to come out into this yard and to return to 11 without interference. How about it, Dunn? Sure, Warden. When he's ready, 16, open the gate. Want me to go with you? No. Just Snyder. I gave you my word, Dunn. Hold that gate. I believe you, Warden, but I don't trust your screws. You gonna open up? What do you want, Dunn? I want the press here tonight. Inmates never win a riot, Dunn. You know that. That's my worry. Release the hostages. I'll get the press. Look, Dunn, I can't bargain with you as long as you're holding these men. I wouldn't stand a chance without hostages, and you know it. Give me your word you won't harm the hostages. I'll get the press. I can't hold my boys too long. A couple of hours. OK. <laughs> Good 
How's it going, Carney? We're waiting. But we ain't sleeping. Tony, make a list of all this stuff here with me. Hey, Don, I can use that wire. What do you want to do? Blow us through the roof? Hey, I got something to show you that's terrific. Come on. Hey, what's that? Learned how to mix that cocktail in Normandy. Now, watch this. This is a real beauty. Hey, that's all right. Fasten that to the bars of the window, you'll knock their brains out. Make some more of them. There we are. It's finished. How does that work? Here, lend me your neck a minute. Oh. <laughs> Slip it over the screw's neck. How's that feel, screw? Oh, Oh, that's right, Governor. I've got to have the authority to bargain with Dunn and to send for the state police. I warned you we would do for a riot. I've even got him sleeping in the corridors of Block 4. You're always talking about overcrowding old plant insufficient personnel. Look, I don't want to argue that now. Right now, I've got a riot on my hands. Give me the authority to act before this thing spreads. Warden, and I can't let convicts dictate terms to the state. I'll send Haskell right away. Yes, sir. Haskell. I don't know what that politician will do here. These men can't vote. Monroe's wife. Yes, Mrs. Monroe. Is it true my husband's in Block 11? That's right. He is in the block. He'll be killed. We're not going to let anything happen to him. I promise you, he'll be all right. Yeah. Tell the operators not to put any more of the guards' wives through. Just tell them they'll be okay. That's all I can tell them. Got four guys on the front gate, two on the roof. Yard's all clear. Captain Barrett's got nothing on you, Gator. You working out demands? Well, we got a pretty good start. Why don't we get the colonel in on this? I've been thinking about that. We could sure use him. Well, then use him. Yeah. Hey, Colonel. You're the only guy here besides me who could lead this ride. You gonna help us? I had to hit that boy to show these gunzels who's boss. In the street, they think we're wild animals. Tonight, you proved it. Well, what do you want? What chance do we have if we don't stick together? This place is bad enough. Don't you make it worse. We're trying to work up some demands. I'm asking everybody for their beefs. What's yours? The same as everyone else, the whole setup. The bloody cages, the idleness. But this riot won't change it. Well, what will? Maybe nothing. We're forgotten. Colonel, you've got education, medals. You're used to handling men. Help us with the demands. Count me out. I don't get it. There are a lot of reasons. For one thing, I'm up for parole consideration. You're strictly for you. All right, you control the boys. I'll help frame the demands. Hey, Carney. Monroe here wants a cigarette. No. Sure. What's the difference? Sure. Give him a lighted end. It's all right. Thanks. What are they doing out there? They're not going to kill us, are they? You'll be all right for a while. It's not me, you understand. It's my wife. We're going to have a baby. How can you afford a kid on your salary? I got two jobs, this one and one in town. If I could only get in touch with her. Hmm. Now you know why the boys fuss so much over letters. If I could only let her know that I'm all right. They've got wives, too. You got a family? Sure. Wife and a kid. <laughs> Tough any way you look at it. I 
figure too good. I figure all the time, but it don't add up. I'm an accountant, a good one. Embezzlement? No, robbery. I'm out for a while, and then I take something I don't need. Grocery, department store, it doesn't matter. You mean you don't need the stuff? No. Just got to take it, that's all. Like some fellas have to take a drink. You belong in a psycho ward. You shouldn't be here. You're, you're different. Different? <laughs> take Ray in 26. Armed robbery. You think all that happens is he says to himself, I want something, and then goes and gets it? Not as simple as that. Something wrong with him, too. You mean they're all nuts? Including the guard. Whose side you on, Mac? Well, of course I uh... glasses to see, but not to think. But I can't put you through to the warden, Mrs. Snader. The press just arrived. Tell him I've got to talk to him. All right, Mrs. Snader, I promise. No, I'm sorry. The warden's with the press. I can't cut in. But what's a rookie guard doing in the hole? We don't have enough men, and they're not good enough. Most of them have to have other jobs in order to make a living. Hey, Warden, any idea why this started? Uh, who's well, this, um, Don? Yeah. Armed robbery, third offense, murder, second degree. Medical report says he's homicidal, dangerous and unbalanced. He should be in a hospital under psychiatric care. When do we get to see him? We're waiting for Commissioner Haskell. He's on his way here. Here's another one. Crazy Mike Corny. In for life, this is Don's pal. Transferred to us from the state mental hospital. I've been trying to get him transferred back with Dunn. No luck. Are they all psychopaths? Oh, no. We've got all kinds here. Good and bad, just like on the outside. Here. Vetta. Known around here as the Colonel. Here's a Colonel, too. Brilliant war racket. Got drunk, bite in a bar, manslaughter. He's up for parole consideration. Should be out soon. These men aren't here forever. 95% of them will be released. Not men like Dunn. He'll be living around you and your family. And 65% of them will break the law again. 65%? That's a pretty high figure. It's a figure that proves we're not doing the job. Isn't that the same speech you gave the state legislature last summer? It's the same speech he's been given for the last nine years. Hello, Warden. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hello, Hi, Hi, school. Well, let's get going, boys. Hello, Hi. Rand. How are you? Hi, Commissioner. Hi, Hi Commissioner. How are you? Nice seeing you, Bill. Barrett, Mr. Haskell. It's a fine mess you've gotten us into, Reynolds. Let's clean it up fast, huh? Let me see your hands. These are used on the inmates. Drop them or you can't come out. Come on, Dunn, hold up that chain. That looks good. Show us, screw with the chain. Come on, Dunn, show us how the chain works. Sure, on you. I'm coming out. All right, 16, open the gate.
All right, Don, you gonna give us a statement or do we ask questions? What about it? We got a lot of base we want to bring to the attention of the public. There's no work program. Most of the guys are just sitting around waiting for their time to run out. You're asking for work? Yeah. You think the public cares? They ought to. It's costing them a lot of dough. Your paper gonna print this? You know what we're interested in. Yeah. Mad dogs running wild. This place is badly organized. Everybody's all jumbled up together. Mental cases with kids. We understand from Warden Reynolds that you've threatened to kill the guards if your demands are not met. Is that true? You heard right. Well, isn't that murder? In prison or out? This state will be responsible for their deaths. We understand all the guards are married. Some have children. So have we. You're not being killed. We're rotting to death. You know Mr. Haskell is here as the governor's representative. If you and he can get together tonight, will you call off the riot? If we can get together? You heard done, Mr. Haskell. I'd appreciate reading something like what I've said. I heard his charges are without foundation. Isn't it a fact that the federal government says that prisons of over 1,500 men are unmanageable? This prison was built to house 4,000 men, cost the taxpayers $26 million. What do you want us to do, tear it down? Well, what's the cause of the riots, in your opinion? I'll give you a full statement after I've talked to Dunn. In a case like this, either the cons run the prison, or the prison runs the cons. I wouldn't try to prove it tonight. You are gonna get the state police? If I need them. We gotta feed that Haskell a guard. This is just the beginning. Take it easy. Reynolds, this thing can spread. We can't let it. We have to settle it tonight. Okay, Haskell, what you got? I want you to release the guards. I bet you do. What do you want? You tell me, what are you gonna do for us? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you. If you don't give up, I'll see that every one of you hang. Haskell, get away. guys are behind me. But for how long? Some of them look up to you and they'll follow you, not me. You throw in with me and we saw up the block. I told you I would help organize the demands. That's what I'm doing now. I want you to do more than just fix up the language. I want you to check with the men so they'll know you're for the demands. All right, I'm for the demands, but I'm against the riot. Maybe that's because you used to be brass. Maybe. I don't think so. Look, Colonel. Every newspaper and radio in the country is watching this riot. We'll never get a chance like this again. Yeah, I know. If we could just get across that anyone could land in prison. Just like that. Well, I'm just gonna serve my time and get out. And never come back? Yeah. And never come back. You still think you're different, don't you? No. But once you put this uniform on, you not only look like a con, you feel like one. Yeah. Even if you don't come back, you'll always be an ex-con, so why not come in the hallway? I can't, Don. It's like mutiny. I just couldn't go for that. Maybe if you only had three stinking years on the street since you were 14, maybe you know how I feel. We're wasting time. I'll do the best I can on the demands. Let's hope we can win some of them. Some of them? We've got to win them all. So can we. Don't rush it. Yeah, I 
know we're all tired. Uh, the guards will have to stay at their post until further notice. Warden, this is Mr. Russell of the New York Sun. He just flew in. Hello, Warden. How's Haskell doing? Just a flesh wound. He never was in danger. Excuse me, Warden. Kitchen crews have reported they're ready with breakfast. No incidents. Good. Feed the blocks one by one. Start as usual. Right now, we're okay, trying to feed 4,000 men. One at a time. Pardon me. I have to check the yard. Bring him up to date. Sure. How about some coffee first? Fine. Yeah, what about the leg, arms, and chain? Yeah, yeah what about them? It's all covered in number three. You'll see it when it's finished. Finished yet, Colonel? Almost. That's another thing. Kids should be separated from guys like that. Kids should be separated from what? You heard me, from guys like you. Rub your nose out of my business! Don't get too big for your britches, sonny. Maggie! Robert. letting those men go past Block 11 on their way to the mess hall? It is. The only other way to do it is to try to feed 4,000 men in their cells. That has dangers, too. Don't know if I could spare enough guards for an operation like that to still maintain security. ready to bargain. Tell him you'll call him back. I want to get this thing over with. I'm not going to jump the minute he's ready. Let him stew a while. Time is on their side. The longer we let this thing go, the more explosive it's going to get. Tell him you'll call him back. I'll call you back. Just don't take too long, Warden. He'd better not take too long. Still in business. Sure wish I was with him. Slop is rot! Five. Yes, sir. Have they 
they started yet? Yeah, they're on their way. Well, get them back. Block four is broken out of the mess hall. Get your back whatever you do. Yes, sir. We gotta get them back in their cells. All right. Oh, oh, back. Oh, back. Back. back in this cell. Show up. Back in this cell. Come on. Hey, come on. Get a move out of there. Come on. Grab a cell, into your holes, hit your drum. If they lock in now, you're dead. They shoot in your cell. Let's go! Get out! guards down in the yard? I already have every man placed on 24-hour duty. Twenty years of hard time, Warden. You tell those guys at the gun walk to lay off. We bring these guards through. Wait. You tell him. Warden. These men mean to kill us. Gun walk. Gun walk. Don't do any shooting when the men come out of fire. Nineteen. Nineteen tower. The men are coming out of five. They have hostages. Let them go.
and let him into 11. Yes, sir. includes the mess hall, fire in the tool shed. Well, once they arrived, it didn't take long. Nobody killed, quite a few injuries. State police handled themselves well. The warden's policy is to avoid bloodshed. No, it's far from over. Eleven's still holding out. Now they have nine hostages, five guards from block five. No report on any of them. Presume they're still alive. Haskell seems to be the boss here. Yard's clear, Warden. Yeah. Barrett, 18. Warden, Bacon's dead. Let's have the doctor hold his report for 24 hours. We won't release this to the press, huh? There's 11 again. Yeah, what is it? Warden, I hear Bacon got it. It was an accident. Give it to me straight. 
gunshot. Okay, it's like I said. One for one. Carney, get one of the screws and bring him here. Snader. Snader. It's a pleasure. Uh, listen, Don, are you there? Like I told you, it was an accident. Besides, we didn't kill him. One of the state policemen did. We're sticking to our end of the bargain. Yeah, but Bacon's dead, isn't he? Our deal was one for one. They're going to kill Snyder. Hold it, Dunn. I'm coming right down. <laughs> to the demands. Okay, Warden, I'm ready. I want to talk to the whole prison. First, let me see Snader. Okay. Have a good look. Represent the entire inmate population in these demands. We are bargaining for all of you. Here goes. Eleven block must be remodeled. Give us room to breathe and more light to see with. The nuts ought to be separated from the rest of us and put someplace where you can do something for them. Get rid of the leg locks, chains, and brutal guards like Snader. Teach us a trade so that when we get out of here, we'll be able to hold down a job. Are you sure you didn't write these demands yourself? Why, the whole thing sounds exactly like your yearly complaints. Remodel block 11, turn... Look, the state commission condemned that block two years ago. Inmates leave, too. And last, no reprisals against any ringleaders or participants of this revolt. That is all. Well, you may let them get away with it, Reynolds, but I promise you, I'll have these men brought to trial. If it weren't for those guards, I wouldn't sign anything and you know it. Warden, what do you think? Those demands are awfully sharp for a bunch of cons. These are intelligent men, Gunn in particular. If he's so smart, what's he doing in here? He's also a psychopath, like a lot of brilliant men on the outside. Are you going to recommend acceptance for the governor? In the main. After all, most of them have been my demands for a long time. Looks like this time you might get them. Yeah. I want you to sign, and I want the governor to sign. I'll sign. I don't know about the governor. When will you know? Give me six hours. Sure, Warden. Thank you. 
No. 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 Trying to take over. Throw him out. Jada, get me Barrett on the phone. Take care of him. Come on, let's put him in a cell. Easy with him now. I've got it. Oh, leave me alone. As far as I can tell, nothing broken. Next step. Lucky that pipe just glanced off your shoulder. You don't look so hot yourself, Al. I figured you on Mickey's side. You figured wrong. Yeah, and you figured wrong when you put Carney in charge. If you want the job, it's yours. Then shut up. Send a stretcher for Mickey. Who's this? Mike Carney. Where's Dunn? I'm in charge now. That was crazy Mike Carney. He's taken over. They've almost killed one of the inmates. What happened to Dunn? He won't say. Crazy Mike. Who's he? Crazy is the nicest thing you can say about him. Dispensary. Yes, sir. Send a stretcher to 11 block 8. What's the matter, Snape? Don't think I like you, huh? You're wrong. I'm gonna do you a favor. Wanna say goodbye to your wife? Or would you write her a farewell letter? No. All the other schools are writing letters. How'll your old lady feel if she don't get one? Of course, if you don't want it. I'll just leave the pencil and paper. Change your mind, just rap on the door. Skyler will pick it up. Wait till the wives get those letters and start to phone the warden. You'll see some action. What a lot of tripe. Goodbye forever. Give me operator. This is Connie. I want to talk to Mrs. Monroe. The operator says Carney's calling Mrs. Monroe. Tell him to put the call through. I'll monitor it here. Put the call through, we'll cut in. Find out what this guy's up to. Yes? Mrs. Monroe, this is inmate Carney. Carney? I got a farewell letter here from your husband. Get me the governor. <laughs> Operator, get the governor. Urgent. They tell me I gotta say goodbye to you and the children. I don't know how because I can't believe it. Convinced? Just a moment, sir. Ready. Governor, have you signed yet? No, I haven't. These men's lives really depend on it. I can't trust Corny. Oh, governor, if you're going to sign it all, will you please do it right away? I must consider very carefully. If I sign, it'll be an open invitation to the inmates of every prison in this state to grab a few guards and dictate their own terms. Governor, I don't want you to take the responsibility for the murder of nine men. Every minute counts. He hasn't signed. Not yet. What happens if we break into 11 block? That block is as hard to break into as it is to break out of. Harder. Some of my men will be killed. Well, suppose we blast a hole in the block. Only inmates get killed. The casualties will be high. Including the guards on the inside. Maybe. Haskell, the moment you give the order to blow up that block, you're in complete charge. I'll have to take that risk. All right, Captain, let's get started.
Hold your head up, Flip. Colonel, do you think us guards should be killed? We haven't done anything. Oh, quiet. I never treat the men bad. No, you just lock up the cages and help throw the food to the wild animals. I never hit nobody. Didn't play no favorites. Yeah, you treat us all the same. A bunch of cons. Each man in here feels different inside. We all fight for our identity. And you help destroy that. That's the prison. I'm just a guard yeah, here. Yeah, I... I know. That's what we got against you. Skyler. Get me Snader. We'll start with him. I thought I told you. Take I'll... off. Keep your eyes open. I don't think we should kill him. I don't think God would approve. How's Al, Tony? He's feeling better. Talk to him. See if he and his friends will stand up against Carney. I don't want trouble. You can't have it both ways. If you don't want the guards killed, you have to put up a fight for it. Go on. think you're doing? I'm willing to let you run this riot, Carney. But you can't kill Snyder. Get it, boys, come on! Now, oh, wait a minute. Let's let Dunn decide this. Uh, uh, All right. Get him. Going chicken? I want to see Don. Carney said no. I said I want to see Don. 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 Hey, take it. Carney's going to kill Snader. What for? What happened? Nothing. He's crazy. And if you don't stop it, we'll all end up in a bucket. I told him no cutting. <laughs> I see these cops coming across the yard. They're not planting flowers. Where? Down by the end of the block. Like Snyder in a cell. All right, dummy up, dummy up. for the governor to sign. And if he won't sign, Reynolds, we've tried your way. It's no good. It started with four hostages. Now they've got nine. Tomorrow it may be 20. You've never tried it my way. The legislature's never given me the money I need. If they had, maybe I wouldn't have a riot on my hands. I disagree. I think this riot is a direct result of your policy of compromise with the convicts. That's why I'm against the governor signing. I'd never sign if it were up to me. Your way would only make this place harder to handle. You'd have thousands of angry, desperate men. And they'd take it out on the public when they're released. Well, they may be angry, but they'll be scared, too. They'll know we mean business. They'll think twice before they riot again. No. 
You'll never stop riots by treating the prisoners worse. You stop them by treating them better? Show, Colonel. They blow this cell block. They'll not only kill the guards, but we'll go with them. Get them in there. Well, that's what anybody else gets who tries to sell us out. Set. Say the word. So is the governor. You wouldn't be playing tricks, Warden. Like maybe planting a little dynamite. All the reporters here? Yes. Okay, let's give them their headlines. Start filing out one by one. After I see the morning papers. They'll be here at 7.30. Fine. We did it!
out first. Two weeks. Yeah, but nothing's happened. They're in no rush. Sure, you forced them done, but they don't like it. They signed it and it's still in the papers. What's in the papers? Did you let a riot? Did you beat up the guards? Did you destroy property? Yeah, and the headlines say I won. Yeah. Well, don't expect any medals. All right, Dunn. Warden wants to see you. Well, it's about time. Here, the warden's got the blueprints for the new 11 block. Here he is now. Hey, Doc, come on, 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 come What's it all about, Warden? Dunn, you're going to stand trial on charges of leading a riot and kidnapping guards. But I don't get it. No reprisals. No agreement. There is no agreement. The state legislature repudiated the governor's signature and mine. Wait, what? Canceled it out. Said we had no right to make an agreement with convicts. But, Warden, you signed it. You gave us your word. I don't like it, Dunn. That's what happened. What'll I get? If you're found guilty, probably 30 years. 30 years? And for what? For nothing! getting the colonel. Connie is being sent to a state mental institution where he should have been a long time ago. I'm signing the colonel's parole. And I get 30 years. Warden, you know I didn't do it to bust over the walls. I did it just so people would know what it's like in here. But 30 years! I was never able to transfer Connie before. The colonel may not have gotten his parole, even though he deserved it. Try to realize, Dunn, that good does sometimes come out of evil. And it's awful little good for 30 years. Well, the public has learned more about the inside of a prison in the last few weeks than they did in all my 15 years of making speeches. Why do you think that is? 
Because we got in the papers. And you're still news, with or without an agreement. Hasco wants me to resign. There's going to be an investigation. This time, the public will listen to my side of it. And they are only hope. They're the only ones who can help. I sure hope so. I've been in and out of these joints all my life. And who cares? That ain't right, Warden. In other states, after their riots, changes were made. The inmates won. Yeah, I won. 30 years. <laughs>